So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to grind on the nurse again. Like I did, like I spent it, like maybe two hours doing last time. But it's necessary, unfortunately. There's a... Um, yeah. If... I, I really wish... Um, let's see. I really wish Gen 5 XP wasn't so just absolutely fricked. Because then I think this would be a lot faster. But yeah, as it stands, this is... This is the fastest way to, to level up without turning on like XP cheats. And even XP cheats just feel like this feels a bit cheaty, but like I think it's just necessary. Jesus Christ, dude! I think I think Breloom learns Mock Punch, which is really nice. But other than that, I'm in for like a rough time. Yeah, I need to essentially formulate a strategy for this upcoming gym battle. Like, I could hope for a Deramaka, Route 4, and I think that's what's going to come down to. But, yeah, the chances of that are low. Much higher than I think the, the Murkrow were, luckily. But the chances are still low. Um, for those unaware, of Gen 5 Pokemon, Derimak is a fire type. And it's the only fire type you can get in just like a desert full of ground types. It's a cool design too, I love the design. Yeah. I'm going to have to get through the multitude of bullshit in Castellia City. Then go Gen, then go Route 4. Then next time, I think I'll. I think I'm gonna focus on catches today. Next time, I'll train up for to fight against Burr. So yeah, I'm just gonna be doing the same thing over and over again. So, how are people doing in chat? Sweet kiss. Thank you for slowing down everything in my life. Mamma mia. A tier ranking of all the Pringles flavors. Yeah, I can do that. Um, I don't know all the Pringles flavors. Uh, well, first the sour cream and onion is top tier. S tier. Uh, it stands alone in S tier. A tier. Barbecue. Paprika. C tier. Nice stun spore, moron. Didn't mean to do that. C tier, I'm going to say. Nice. Nice. Cool. You know, it's it's fine. I'm just cool, because I want the XP from Adino to also go into the day. So I'm going to have to keep him in. Despite the fact he's or she's confused and paralyzed. I think C tier is every other flavor and D tier is base Pringles, original Pringles. I think that's my tier list for Pringles off the top of my head. I would need a full list of the Pringles to, to properly formulate that. But yeah, I think original Pringles are like easily the worst. They, they just provide nothing. Nothing of value. And sour cream and onion are just always delicious. Yeah, yeah. S tier's barbecue. Barbecue's high tier. But it's not my favorite. I think S tier for me is sour cream and onion alone. It's like... Barbecue is nice. But it doesn't have that. Yeah, no, I, I don't like original Pringles at all. 
They're just not good. It's like... They're like... Ah. Oh, Prong Cocktail? I put Prong Cocktail in the... The B tier. They're like... The tingle is nice, but I, I'm not a, a huge fan of Prong Cocktail in general. Headbutt. Hmm, that's good. I like Stun Spore, though. Okay, so... Boots. I'm sticking with Beats here. I'm getting rid of Leech, Leech Seed. Leech Seed may be like more big brain, but I don't give a shit. I'd rather have type coverage. Bullet Seed is always better than Mega Drain, but Mega Drain also gives you health back. Stop pressing A like a moron. Thank you. Just go keep on fighting. Any other opinions we want to get angry about? I can do that. I'll do that all day. Like, I'm left. Yeah. I'm just... I'm not going to go all the way to 25. I think I'm only going, going to go to 23 this time. So it shouldn't take that that long. But yeah. It's unfortunate I have to do this. But I really have no other choice. I think, uh... Looking back, I think Gen 5 is like... The first, like... Best and worst salad leaf? Kale is the worst salad leaf. Spinach is the best. Easy. No question. Wait, let me count. So three... So max number of double slaps is five, so 15. Taking into account crits, so my safe zone is 25. Yeah, kale is easily the worst. Spinach is the best. Like... Spinach is like... The texture is a bit, like, sometimes a bit off, but good spinach is nice. Oh, mm, you love to see it. But kill is just actively disgusting. It's bitter and gross. Its texture is, like, unpleasant. No. Fuck kill. This affects sport stuff, my... Okay, that's fine. You know? That's fine. It doesn't really slow me down all that much. Being unlucky does, though. Yeah. I'm gonna actually stock up on... on repels for the upcoming Pinwall Forest. Because, like, traversing through it's just a nightmare. Fresh Pins does have a nice premise to it. Look at, look at those levels, man. Mm, you'll have to see it. It's so good. I don't know... Yeah, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure Shroomish evolves soon. So there we go. Big evolution, Pog. All 24 hours of the day. The worst is 3 in the morning. See, yeah, no. Shumish learns, um, or Brilliant learns Mac Punk, which is Match Punch. Match? Mach Punch. Which is, like, nice to have. It's also fighting type. So this is essentially a 60 power. 60 power quick attack, which is also fighting type. Which is worse than Headbutt. It's a... It's a Gen 3 boy. Brave Lou. I prefer Bullet Seed to Mega Drain. But like, Mach Punch is really good to get a... Yeah, did you ever use a Shroomish and Ebro? Shroomish, Shroomish were rowdy. So I was like, yeah, let's go boys. 
but yeah, Bre Breloom is cool. Breloom is legit. Well, not maybe legit, but you know, good. I think because I didn't, because I started Mudcup, I think I definitely had a um, a Breloom on my team in in Emerald. Either Breloom or Atropius. I can't remember which grass type I favored. Bro, he's a fighting mushroom. Horrible pain by existing. Double slap. A bright side of joy being female this time is, uh, is I can't get attracted by this chick. This will maybe be the slowest battle of all time because it's all double slaps. Oops, all double slaps, you know? Breloom doesn't have a yucky design. Breloom's cool. Okay, time for the slap off once again. Oh, nice dodge. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm switching. <laughs> Mach Punch also has a really cool animation. I trust Toad Eddie. I trust Toad Eddie. Okay, yeah, it's, it's only three, so I'm fine. Look at this Mach Punch. Oh, you love to- mm, you love to see it. That's- that's the good stuff right there. Two levels, oh man. Audino doesn't have an evolution as far as I'm aware. So yeah, I'm hoping to get all my Pokemon to level 20, 22 at least before I head back into Pinwall for Forest and sacrifice more Pokemon to the Elder Gods. If, you, if you've never seen Pinball Forest, it is annoying to get through this first time. Confused? Oh no. In fact, I might stop on, on repose right now, because I do not want to have to deal with it. I'm already confused, you dumbass bitch. Cthulhu is eyeing up the Nuzleaf. Who unfortunately hasn't seen much use as of yet. My goals for this stream are growing shorter and shorter. At the beginning it was to to catch all my catches, but right now it's just to get through Pinwheel Forest. Okay, we'll send out to Daddy. Something that makes me really uncomfortable about Audino is it, it's, it looks like it's wearing a cardigan, like a pink cardigan. It's just a little uncomfortable. Mach Punch is very pog, dude. Secret power? Is that the, um, the big brain move? Yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> I'm sure secret power is good. It's secret power and hidden power that I'm sure are good, but I'm just too stupid to use them. It's big punches, big punches. I think I'm almost at the point for joy. And then it's just one last Pokemon to get up to snuff. I think joy being high level is going to be 
a big boon to the team because it essentially replaces what Gnome was, which was just a safe tank. And now it's an ultra safe tank because it can go out against anything without fighting type moves, essentially, and perform the same function. Whereas Gnome was weak to darks and electrics you know, this, and grass and whatever. Because, like, Regenerator, in a Nuzlocke especially, with set battle style is super, super, super good. Nothing can replace Gnome, no. But in terms of function, Gnome and Joy are going to serve similar functions for me. Hopefully, Joy will do a little more in a battle than Gnome did, which is essentially sleep the whole time. But no was MVP sleeping, to be fair. <laughs> no, I'm just tanked all all the stuff I needed him to tank. Shows the value of high defense in a Nuzlocke. Clutched it out in the end. Please. Please! Oh my god, thank god. This should be big XP for Joy. Yeah, I know. Not much. He didn't do much damage. <laughs> it was Gnome and Phil, I think, which tanked a bunch of stuff for me. Okay, one last Pokemon to train up. Then we're good. Hoodwink. Hoodwink should almost immediately evolve here to Grova as well. I think Grovile can learn the, um, in, in Black and White there's um, a special move for each of the starter Pokemon, and I'm pretty sure uh, Sceptile will be able to learn it, but that isn't until, I think, after the fourth gym, after Elisa. Quick Attack is actually modded in this version of the game. So that is, it's weaker than Tackle, because in base versions of the game, I'm not sure if it's still the case, but it was, it was such that Quick Attack both had move priority and more power than Tackle, which essentially just makes tattle, Tackle completely redundant. There's like zero point to, to using Tackle ever if you have Quick Attack. But yeah, I think Quick Attack is our best bet here, because I'm pretty sure Absorb is like 20 power, which is like abysmal. Even with stab, that's that's up to thirty power. So I also need to shuffle around hoodwinks. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm taking hoodwink out. I don't trust this. Joy will benefit the most from the the XP, even if she will be the slowest. Yeah, I, I I've seen too many Pokemon die to double slap for me to be for me to trust double slap at all. I'm, I'm, I'm taking Hoodwick out of there, dude. Maybe I should have just put in Toadit Toadaddy. Who's horny? Did I miss something? Slowest fight of all time. Oh, I'm gonna be hearing this sound in my fucking dreams. Why do I do this to myself? I should send up to it. Trico is for me. There you go, there's a crit. It's about average. Oh, the dodge, baby. Baby! Okay, looks like Joy will be able to handle this. 
Jesus. One crit there and it's done. But yeah. I think... Maybe one more fight? Two four more fights against the nurse and then I'm good. Look at that HP, baby. Okay, this should be an evolution. Now yeah, Grova is a very cool de design. I love Grova. Look at that head shift. The quick turn. Wow. <laughs> so shifty. And like even looking at the stats, it should be a lot a lot better now. Yeah, like, the HP jumped by a ton. Okay, it was 30 power, so it's 45. So it's actually better than Quick Attack. I was wrong. I thought Quick Attack was 40 power. But it's also... special, as a book. Oh, and but my special attack's better. What are my Eevees like? Uh, about the same. Okay, so absorb is better. That was wrong. My bad. Could have been a little bit faster. Wrong button. <laughs> Big sneeze. Oh my god, I did it again. Looks like Hoodwing's shaping up to be a pillar of the team, hopefully. I don't like his defense and HP all that much. But, should be fast, should be heavy hitter, should be good. Dude, that's so slow. I, I felt like quick attack was somehow better, despite the fact it shouldn't be. Quick Attack is one of the instances where I would have dealt the exact same damage or taking away defense and such not. See, Quick Attack's way better. Don't know why. The Head Swish is super good. It's just like the quick... Oh, <laughs> It's real nice. And honestly, it's... Hoodwing's not too far off from being a Scepter either. If I recall my Gen 3, it's like 30 ish, I think. So, could do very well. Yeah, no, I'm switching him up. Okay, 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 I'm safe for now. Safe for now? Did I? I'll double check later. Um. It's close. I think I would have needed three crits to die there. So I think it's like statistically very, very unlikely because it needed the five time hit and the triple crit as well. But also, that was very scary, so uh, fuck that. Uh, it may have been the case that Hapini's special defense is way higher than his defense. Which I think is the case, because I'm pretty sure I, I counted correctly. Because it's normal type, so both of them should have done, done the same damage. Because Hoodwink's special was better than his physical. And I think it's the same or slightly more damage. Oh my god, just hit... Hit your double set, please, man.
Whereas I think Odino actually has pretty high physical defense or something. But I think it was it was literally just that Hapini has high special defense. I think. I'll double check afterwards. But I think that's the case. <sighs> Bro, save me from these slap fights, please. <laughs> oh my god. If this was not the fastest way of leveling up, I would have yeeted this already so hard. Okay, so there's 3 damage. 25 is my safe, safe zone. Don't think it matters anyway. I got very unlucky. Okay. 25 was my safe zone. Wasn't worried. Despite what it may have appeared. I wasn't worried. That was easy. I had it mathed out. 25 was my safe zone. <laughs> 25 was perfectly safe. <laughs>